There's a good point when we're talking about amalgam removal because you probably have seen it because in doing your research, but I guess it was a good 10 years ago, maybe a lot, CBS, 60 Minutes, did a, uh, uh, they watched four patients, they followed them, they got the mercury fillings out, and within a few days to a few weeks, these patients made miraculous recoveries. And I was very happy that CBS brought this attention to mercury fillings to the public, but it turns out that's not why they got better. The reason these people got better is because the mercury fillings generate a tremendous amount of current. And I did a study in the 80s where we actually measured the current of fillings, and it's dramatic. And I think you can have an effect in one or, there's three ways a person can be affected. One is you have the acupuncture meridians that actually end in the roots of the teeth. And if you ever watch an acupuncturist, he goes in and he'll find an acupuncture point and he'll use a little needle. And putting the needle in the right point doesn't do it. He spins it with his finger to generate a microcurrent. Well, what happens if you take a huge current and start putting it through the acupuncture meridians? I think for most people, it doesn't have a profound effect. For about 15% of the people, it has a very profound effect. Okay. Secondly, there's just something called a neural network, and it's just how energies run through the body. And if you have large currents, it actually can give you referred pain other places. Then you have the brain that's working on nanovoltages. Well, what if you stick big old batteries next to it? And I think it can have an effect in all three ways. But again, science, how do you, how do you track that? How do you study that? Now, from a clinical standpoint, I love seeing this 10 to 15% of the patients because what will happen, and let me give you a for instance, I had a woman come in and her favorite thing to do was shop with her daughter. Well, her knees, she was diagnosed with fibromyalgia. She felt it the worst in her knees and she used to shop with her daughter every Tuesday and at this point she had to use either a wheelchair or one of those electric carts. She came in for mercury removal. She was sent by her physician. He tested her for mercury toxicity. She had high level in her tissues. He asked me to take her mercury out. So we took out one quadrant of mercury fillings and put composites in. She calls up and there's a message on the machine that she walked with her daughter through the mall that night. First time in a year. Could it be from the fillings? And of course, what do I say? I don't know. I sure hope so, but I'm thinking electrical. Every quadrant we got out of that person, she took a dramatic jump in her health. Those are what I call electrical people. Now, when you're dealing with t people with mercury toxicity, it's very hard to know how well they're doing because one, a lot of times they're sent from very far away for me to take their mercury fillings out. I know how they started, but they're not gonna feel better if, they're not, if they don't have an electrical contingent they still have the mercury in the tissues. See, what people don't understand that by taking the mercury fillings out, what I'm doing is I'm stopping the influx of mercury from their teeth. It doesn't mean it's leaving their tissues. They're not necessarily gonna feel better for every filling I take out. So when you get all the mercury out of there, they might not feel any better at all. That's where we send it back to the health practitioner for detoxification. And then they'll start to feel better. And depending, again, on genetics and diet, for instance, the glutathione system is, glutathione is a major way to pull mercury out and pass out through the feces. Well, if a person has a very poor diet and their body is in a very acidic state, glutathione can't remove mercury. So you might have to have that health practitioner work with them to change their whole diet to get them into a basic state so the glutathione can pull the mercury out of the tissues. So those people that have genetic problems plus dietary problems, it could take them years before they start to feel better. But what keeps me going is these people come back and they say, I have my life back.